Hi, I am Glenn Plake, and I am here in Chamonix, France. In March 2013, Julbo and I will host the Julbo Glenn University session right here in Chamonix. We are looking for the next generation of ski mountaineers to join the U.S. Julbo ski team and give them a chance to be influenced by the traditions of Chamonix. Yeah, I think Chamonix is, has this, when you hear it, it, it has this like ring to it. You know, it's, it's um, I think for me growing up uh, in the States and in the mountain ranges that we have, you always hear about like, oh yeah, you know, Chamonix, the access is absolutely insane. Like, you know, you're not slag, you're not, you're not slogging through the forest or, or through drainages for hours. You hop out of a bin and you're literally on an alpine face. I mean, Chamonix has a reputation worldwide as one of the greatest ski towns on earth and uh, you know just European huge alpine mountains a lot of ice a lot of glaciers a lot of serious skiing serious climbing just big and dangerous and cool I think in Chamonix you got also more of this of ski history but it's also a little bit because we have the and easier access to the mountains. If you go to the States, it's all much wider. If you go ski Mount, Mount McKinley, it's, it's an expedition. If you ski Mont Blanc, it's, yeah, it's two days. Those guys got to realize that we need to maybe clear the air, that, uh, that there's a kind of this fantasy world that's all cool and magazines and heli shoots and all this other stuff and then there's the actual real world and that's climbing and skiing mountains and, and that's going on all the time everywhere and has been for hundreds of years. I think it's the next, I think it's this one. Uh, this is the dog leg right here. I'm pretty sure this is the core. I started skiing when I was 18 months old and since then just kind of exploring the mountains on all different types of skis. So yeah, that's me. Yeah, I grew up skiing at Mad River Glen. Uh, I had a great time skiing there with my older brother, my family. You know, CJ in Chamonix is a perfect fit. You know, he's got really good climbing skills and a lot of enthusiasm for, for the alpine environment. Tom was just, you know, keen to do whatever, and again, like CJ, he's fit enough to do whatever. Ils étaient vraiment super sympa, et ils étaient bons skieurs et surtout bons alpinistes. Et euh, ils débarquaient pas de nulle part. Ils avaient chacun leur expérience. CJ and Tom, they are really good skiers, and we could have fun without. Yeah, I, I wasn't guiding. I was enjoying skiing. Being in Chamonix has been amazing. Uh, as a skier, it's, it's some place I always wanted to come. I knew that I'd be here someday. I didn't know what the circumstances would be, and I certainly never thought that it would be to, I would be here to ski with Glenn Plake. Skiing in Chamonix with Glenn Plake is a, kind of a surreal experience. He has so much knowledge of the area, of the mountains in general. Is super, super psyched to point out every single little line whether it's an alpine climb or a ski route that was last skied in 1976 by Patrick Valentin. He has something to say about every peak you can see. He has a story about it, and it's really neat to, to experience that and, and have him as a guide.
What's that thing? That looks almost skiable. My friends want to do that last year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're supposed to do is take all that cheese and break. Well, you don't look at the alley. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. This is my We're completely ruined the ambiance. We are on the north, too. We go along yeah. here. There's and a section here where the we go cool on the north face. So it'll be and then we just go, which is really nice. Facing mm -hmm. east, and you have the Grand Jorahs just here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, I'm sure the snow is good, and... Uh, This experience, this trip to Chamonix, the mountaineering, the skiing, everything that we've been doing has been absolutely amazing. No, I think Chamonix just opened my eyes uh, as far as you know what what you can do in the mountains. I think it's been a real eye opener, and um, being with Glenn is unreal. It's been a really neat experience to see you know how excited he is in the mountains still after all these years. Um, he's still exploring, still getting after it. Um, and yeah, it's just been a huge growing experience as a skier, I think.